All right, well, we left off last time we had uh, this page right here, and not much to it. So all we did was add a little bit of style for the background color, and we added some text, and you got to learn how all that worked. Uh, what I want to do now is uh, having this uh, sitting out there as less than two is kind of ugly. So what we're going to do is going to create a site, a folder for ourselves for our site, and then put it in there. Now built into HTML kit is something that is called desktop and really just gives you a chance to go into your file system. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and click on open desktop and here it is. Click on computer. Click on my USB drive where I have my file saved. Alright, and then I'm going to go ahead and add a folder. I'm going to call that folder my site all lowercase no spaces. I'm going to press enter. Then inside my site I'm going to create another folder by using the create new folder button and I'm going to call that images. And then I'm going to press enter. And now I have two folders. That's what I'm going to do in here so I'm just going to hit cancel because I don't want to really open up an HTML, uh, a desktop file. Uh, now what I'm going to do is save this file into it. So I'm going to click on the file button again. Save as. Alright, I don't want to put it in star buzz, so I'm going to go up one. That's what this green one was for. I want to put it in my site. And I'm going to call this index.html, because that's what our own page is called, is index.html. I'm going to save it. So I really haven't done anything. Everything's the same except now this is located somewhere else it's called, in a folder called My Site uh, with another folder in it called Images. So the next thing we're going to do is um, add some text to here. So um, after the paragraph for that, I'm going to go ahead and put a, a H2 in here. Pictures. And then we're going to close it. Uh, before we go on, we always test. So I'm going to hit the preview button. Okay, picture showed up. And maybe a good thing to do would be to put a capitalize that P. All right. And then the next thing I'm going to do is uh, I want to add some pictures. So I'll put a, pic a paragraph tag. And I press the space bar, and the closed paragraph comes in. All right, so next thing I have to do is go find a picture. So I'm going to go to the internet and find a picture of me. So you see I've done this before. I've typed in Tom Brady. I click on images. Here it comes. Why not this one? Uh, that one's kind of big. So I like this one. And I'm going to hit there and view image. And there it is. So I'm going to right mouse click on this, save image as, it's uh, Tom Brady, I like that name, so I'm going to keep it, but I need to put it into my images folder, so I go to my stick, to my site, to images, and then I'll go ahead and save it. So now I have that file there. So let's go back to HTML kit. Nope. There it is. All right, and I'm going to put an image tag in there. So I'm going to start the tag, IMG, and when I hit space, it says, whoa, the only thing you're going to do is put an image source in there. Uh, one of the things that I should have done was uh, copy and paste that uh, file name. So if I go back to uh, here, uh, when, you're, when you're saving it, the good thing to do, but if you, if you didn't, so here's my site images. I'm going to go ahead and tap this once, then wait, tap it again, select the file name and copy, then go back to my HTML kit, and then paste that in. And you might say, well, gee, why do that? The biggest problem you have is this thing not being exactly as it is in the file structure. So copy and pasting uh, when I tell my other classes, copy and paste is your friend, you want to go ahead and use them. 
and I'm going to put Tom Brady as the alternate text so that uh, people can mouse over and see what that's a picture of. All right, let's go ahead and preview it and see how it looks. Ah, doesn't work. All right, see the X there? But look, when I mouse over, it shows Tom Brady, so that's one thing that works. Um, and it says Tom Brady next to it because of the alternate text. Problem is, yeah, this thing is not right. And that's because, if you remember, uh, we've placed our HTML index in one folder and then our p images in another folder. So what I have to do is I have to tell it what folder to look in for that. So I'm just going to type in images slash and I probably should have copy and pasted but let's see if this works and then when I preview it sweet alright there's Tom Brady uh, so that works really nice so let's go ahead and put another picture in and what I'm gonna do for this one is um, put in another paragraph tag <coughs> and then I'm going to hit the spacebar once and now I have to go find another picture so let's go back to where our pictures were. Alright, and suppose on this one I want a him and Giselle. Alright, that's a pretty big picture. Alright, so I'm going to do this one. I'm going to view an image. Now on this one I'm going to do something different. Instead of grabbing the uh, this file itself, I'm just going to copy the address where it's located, so I'm going to use Control C to copy. I'm going to come back here and then do my same image source IMG space. Isn't that interesting? Okay. You notice it didn't pop up, and that's because I didn't put the start symbol IMG space. And now I'm going to paste in all that stuff. All right, I'm going to go ahead now and put an alternate in there. Tom and wife. And so there it is. And then I'm going to preview it. And there is Tom and his wife. And I go, whoa, that's a that's a pretty big. Um, that's a pretty big picture. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change some of the attributes of that picture. I'm going to go to back to my editor and I'm going to change some of the attributes. So after the alt tag I'm going to hit space and I'm going to say well the width is equal to uh, and I'm going to make this um, Let's, let's do um, 300 for that, in quotes. And the height is equal to, I'll make that 200, since it was wider than it was long. Okay, and then I'll go ahead and preview that. Whoa! Okay, so we'd have to play around with it a little bit. <laughs> that's, that's pretty ugly. Uh, but you get the idea. Uh, we would have to, it would probably be better off to go ahead and put that into paint and shrink it down uh, anyway. Uh, but if we can, you can change the uh, size. I notice that when I mouse over it, now Tom and wife uh, shows up on, on the site, uh, on the page. All right, so this ends. This is how we do pictures. All right using image source and again we have to use this to tell it what folder it's in or if it's on online and I want to just go ahead and reference it I can copy and paste the location on the internet where the picture is located if the picture is too big I can use the width and the height in order to be able to change that but we have some unforeseen consequences of doing that it sometimes morphs the picture